Okay, so we're looking at question 18 from HSC General Maths 2011. We're asked, which of the following correctly expresses A as a subject of the equation given here? So the equation is S equals UT plus half AT squared. Okay. Now, to isolate A, to, in other words, to make A the subject, we need to deal with all the other coefficients and pronumerals so that they're on the other side, which is on the left-hand side. If we were to keep A on the right, we want everything else to be on the left, like these options here, A, B, C, and D. So I'm going to deal with UT first. So I'm going to remove UT from the right-hand side by minusing ut and what I do on the right hand side I must do to the left hand side so I'm going to take away ut from s so on the left hand side I have s minus ut I can't simplify that any further and on the right hand side the ut's cancel each other out because they're minusing each other out leaving me with half a t squared okay so I am going to deal with the half next this part here on the right hand side by multiplying by 2 and again what I do to the right hand side I must do to the left hand side so I'll multiply the left hand side by 2 so a half multiplied by 2 a 2 cancels out leaving behind 1 and so that means 1 times a t squared times 1 is just a t squared and as for this one it stays underneath but it doesn't really mean anything so it's just a t squared and on this side we can't we're not going to expand it we're going to leave it as it is so we have 2 outside of s minus ut on the left now we need to do something about this t squared so get rid of that t squared so that we have just the a I'm going to divide by t squared so it cancels out and again what you do to the right hand side you must do to the left hand side so I'll divide the left hand side by t squared and so a is 2 outside of s minus ut over t squared so if you look at your options that corresponds to option A. So that's our answer.